Uh, let's go ahead and calculate uh, the gradient of AB, right? So we say that uh, the gradient of AB will be equals to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So we have to decide which point we take in as point 2 and which point we take in as point 1, right? So let's take point A as point 2. So we're going to have uh, 4 being X2 and then uh, 2 being Y2. And then here for B, we're going to have X1 and Y1. So if we substitute that for Y2, we have 2. And then for Y1, we have minus 4. So that will just be plus 4. And then everything divided by uh, X2. What is X2? X2 is 4, right? And then um, minus X1. Uh, X1 is 6. So we have minus 6. So we have uh, 2 plus 4, which is 6, divided by... Uh, minus 2 right and then this will be equals to uh, minus 3 right that should be equals to minus 3 uh, now let's do 3.1.2 uh, that is saying let's calculate uh, the size of uh, this angle here right so if we want to calculate the size of that angle and we already have the gradient of a b we can just say that a uh, turn of uh, that angle will be equals to the gradient of AB, right? Uh, so that angle there will be equals to tan inverse of uh, the gradient, which is minus 3, right? Uh, and if you put that in your calculator, uh, you will get uh, minus 71.557 degrees, right? If we get a negative angle, we always add 180, right? And then if you do that, uh, that angle should be 108.43 uh, degrees. And uh, we're moving on to 3.1.3. 3.1.3 says let's calculate uh, the coordinates of D. We can see that T is the midpoint of CV because CT is equals to TB, right? So we're going to use the... Ah, midpoint theorem so to say so what are we saying uh, for t using the midpoint theorem we're gonna have x2 plus x1 divided by 2 and then for the y coordinate we have y2 plus y1 everything divided by 2 right uh, since we have let uh, b b have x1 and y1 as the coordinates let let's let's let c have x2 and y2 uh, so if we compute that we're gonna have the coordinates of t being minus 2 plus 6 divided by 2 and then uh, minus 3 minus minus uh, minus 4 right and then divided by 2 so here we're gonna have t uh, having coordinates uh, so we have minus 2 plus 6 divided by 2 which will give us uh, 2 right and then minus 3 minus 4 divided by 2 should give us uh, minus uh, 7 divided by 2 right and let's use 3.1.4 so 3.1.4 here is saying that um, let's uh, determine the coordinates of s uh, like you we are given the uh, the equation of line ac right uh, is given to us here in the equation we're given the equation for line ac uh they say that that equation we have 5x minus 6y being equals to 8 right uh so we can just um so s let's look at s you can see that uh, the x coordinate of s then is going to be zero right so we can just substitute that if we substitute that we're going to get five 0 minus 6x is equals to 8 so that 5 is just gonna fall away right so you just have um y being equals to 8 divided by minus 6 right uh, if we divide everything by 2 there we should get uh, 4 divided by minus 3 so the coordinates of s are 0 and minus 4 divided by 3 um now let's do you know 3.2 so 3.2 here is saying that let's determine the equation of CD in the form Y is equals to MX plus C. So let's, you know, go ahead and look at CD. So we have a CD here. So here's a CD, right? Uh, but then is 
uh, said to us that CD is parallel to AB, right? So we already know that M is equal to minus 3 because don't forget that in 3.1.1 when we calculated the gradient of AB we got uh, minus 3. So now we just are looking for uh, C here, right? Uh, of which we're gonna do by substituting our point uh, C, right? If we substitute C uh, of coordinates minus 2 and minus 3, we shall get uh, y is equals to, uh, <laughs> in place of y we put in minus 3, we're gonna have minus 3 is equals to, and then the gradient is minus 3, right? So we have minus 3, and then x is minus 2 plus c. So we have minus 3 uh, minus 6 being equals to uh, c, right? So minus 9 is equals to c. So our equation is now y is equals to minus 3x uh, plus uh, plus c. <laughs> c is minus 9. Minus 9. So let me just see if that works real quick. Uh, so if we substitute minus uh, 2 and then with minus 9, you're going to get um, 6 minus 9, which is equals to minus 3. So it seems like uh, we're on the right track here. Um, yeah, let's carry on and you know, see what happens. So if we do, uh, if we come to 3.3 .3 here, uh, and then 3.3.1 .3 is saying that let's find uh, the size of DCA. Uh, so DCA, uh, let me just erase what we have here for a bit of clarity. So DCA is this angle here. Um, this equation uh, is, <laughs> It's for four marks, right? Uh, I did spend some time thinking about this question. I don't want you to think that I just saw the question and then I jumped straight into the answer. I had to, you know, think about a lot of things in order to answer uh, this question that we have here. So these kind of questions, uh, they demand a lot of thinking, right? And you should be willing to do that. Uh, but um, let me show you something. This size here, uh, this angle here, A, right? Uh, this angle here should also be A because uh, DC is parallel to AB, right? So, and then apart from that, using uh, CA, we can find this angle of inclination that is here, right? And then if we have that angle of inclination, we can see that uh, this angle here is equals to DCA plus this angle here, right? An exterior angle of a triangle is equals to the sum of the two interior opposite, right? And then from there on, we can then find uh, that angle DCA. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We're saying that angle DPO will be equals to uh, this angle here. We calculated it. Uh, we say it is 108.43. So 108.43 degrees, right? And then um, we say that we need this angle because it will be equals to uh, this angle here, and then we're gonna use uh, exterior angle of a triangle, right? So let's calculate that angle. How are we gonna calculate it? We're gonna say that a uh, tan of theta is equals to uh, the gradient, right? So here we're gonna say that uh, theta is equals to tan arc of the gradient. So what are we saying? We're saying uh, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. But then just for the sake of time, we're just gonna do it without writing the formula down, right? So what is y2? Let's take a as our second point, right? So y2 should be two here, and then uh, y1 uh, should be minus three, right? So that will be plus three because we say in y2 minus uh, y1. And then now let's look at um, x2 minus x1. So x1 is four, and then x2 is minus Two, so that will be plus two. So we're saying that uh, theta is equals to uh, tan inverse of two plus three divided by six, essentially, right? And that should be equals to thirty-nine point eight one degrees. Uh, so this angle, uh, we can replace this, uh, replace it with thirty-one. Uh, we're replacing it with thirty-one point uh, eight one, right? So this angle here should also uh, be equals to 31 uh, 39.81 I meant yeah what am I writing I'm saying 39.81 yeah that's what the calculator says 39.81 um, uh, I don't know what I was writing there so now we can see that um, angle DPO 
is equal to angle DCA plus angle angle what angle PFC P PFC right and then we're given the reason the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to to opposite um, interior right yeah the story goes on so what is dpo dpo we know that it is 108.43 and that should be close to dca which we are looking for plus pcf which is 39.81 so now dca should be equals to so we see in 108.43 minus 39.81 um i'm getting a 68.62 uh degrees uh it doesn't look too bad right 68.62 degrees is believable <laughs> let's do the last question 3.32 um area of p o s c so let's erase everything again and just look at uh p o a c so we have p o S C huh not E C P O S C so let's look at P um P O S C okay 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 I think yeah uh thought of a way so because uh let's let's do this let's do this because we have this angle here right we know the size uh, the size of that angle we can use the side C F and the side uh C P to calculate the size of that uh, of triangle PCF right after we have calculated the size of triangle PCF then we can subtract triangle OFS right we can subtract the triangle and then we're gonna have uh, the size of or the area of POSC so let's go ahead and do that so we see that uh, we're using CP and CF right so let's calculate uh, CP here comes here comes the distance formula uh, the formula I eat more than any other so we need the coordinates of uh, P right and then we have the equation of uh, CD right we calculated it in 3.2 so on the equation of CD here if we substitute um, so we're letting Y be equals to 0 right so if Y is equals to 0 let's just work it out here uh, if y is equal to 0 then 9 should be equal to minus 3x so x should be equal to minus 3 right so we see in for p we have minus 3 and 0 and then uh which other one do we need we also need the coordinates of f right uh we have uh, the y coordinate of f is 0 and we are given the equation of um of ac so let's look at the equation of AC. Uh, the equation of AC is given as uh, 5x minus 6y is equal to 8. So what is 5x? Um, we say in y is 0. So we're going to have 5x uh, being equal to 8. So x is equal to 8 divided by 5. Uh, so here let's say uh, 8 divided by 5 yeah so let's go ahead and calculate um, CP so CP is going to be equals to uh, so distance formula we say y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared right so CP let's let uh, P be the second point so if we say y2 minus y1 uh, we're gonna get uh, 0 uh, plus 3 squared plus um, x2 and then plus 2 squared right so let me just compute that real quick and see what I get here square root of 10 right so now let me do cf cf is equal to uh, so cf let's take uh, f as the second point so we're gonna have y2 minus y1 so we have 0 plus 3 and then squared plus uh, x2 minus x1 so we're gonna have 8 divided by 5 plus 2 squared right uh, cf i'm getting 4.68 um 69 69 <coughs> let's uh, let's say 6861 let's not round off uh to two decimal places when we're not 
Oh, at the final at the final answer right so now we can see that uh, the area uh, the area of uh, triangle CPF is equal to I have side one side two and then sine of the angle of the two sides sandwich right so that will be angle DC hey so the area of CPF will be uh, square root of 10 multiply by 4.6861 multiply by sine of uh, that angle uh, we said that angle is equal to 68.62 um, 68.62 and that should be equal to 6.8995 uh, units squared right so now we can calculate the area of triangle OCF and subtract it from uh, the triangle PFC to find uh, the area of OSCP so what are we saying now we're saying that uh, the area of that triangle so let's analyze that triangle so we can easily find uh, the length of OF right and we can easily find the length of um, OS and then um, the angle they will send which is uh, this one which is 90 right so I think that's uh, the best way to go so we can say that OF is equal to uh, 8 divided by 5 right it's easy to see and then OS is equal to uh, do we have the coordinates of S yeah 3.1.4 let me look uh, uh, so that will be 4 divided by 3 right so uh, OS is equal to 4 divided by 3 so I can say that uh, the area of triangle uh, triangle what triangle OSF uh, will be equal to um, a half multiplied by 8 divided by 5 multiplied by 4 divided by 3 multiplied by sine of 90 which is just uh, one right so we just have f multiplied by eight divided by five multiplied by four divided by three which is equals to one point oh six six seven so now we can say that uh, the area of p o s c should be equals to six point this is units uh, squared should be equals to six uh, point eight nine nine five minus uh one point uh one point zero six six seven right and that should be equal to five point eight three 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 uh units uh squared uh let me know what you think in the comments